Keith Stevens, K-E-I-T-H-S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S, and I'm the Chief of Communications for the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. And uh, we're here in, uh, on Rogers Avenue uh, looking at the, uh, the flooding uh, right here on the street. We're actually going down Rogers right now, and um, as you can see, there's uh, quite a few buildings and um, quite a few uh, restaurants and houses that are almost completely submerged from this flood. What, uh, what are you guys up to as far as uh, being out here? What are you looking at? What are you... Well, we're um, actually out here uh, uh, making sure that um, everybody's property is safe um, and making sure that uh, anybody that's out here uh, it's supposed to be out here, you know, making sure they're property owners or business owners um, and no one's out here doing something nefarious that uh, that we wouldn't want happen out here. Keith, have you ever seen anything like this over here? No, I mean, I've, I've uh, lived in Arkansas almost my entire life and uh, I've never seen anything like this. Um, and and it, what's really strange about it is that it's not raining buckets, there's barely a cloud in the sky and, and uh, the water continues to rise, and uh, that's kind of a strange feeling. And to see all the damage, and, and it's it's from one end of the state to the other. That's that's really amazing that there's that much water. It's kind of, this is record-breaking stuff here. I, I was listening to the folks talk at the meeting this morning. We're some 18 feet over flood level here. Is that, is that your understanding? Yeah, that's that's what's so. Um, that's what's so disconcerting about this. Uh, you know, the, these are areas that have never been flooded before, so we really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, when the water goes down, you know, what's the damage going to be like? Uh, you know, it's, it's obviously catastrophic for the people around here. Uh, you know, the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, we have several facilities along the river. Uh, you know, we don't know what uh, levees and water control structures and things of that nature um, are going to what they're going to look like once this does go down. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting summer to say the least. Uh, we were visiting before we went on camera. There's, there's some, a whole bunch of folks that are that are going to lose a bunch out here. Talk a little bit about the, the residents and, and businesses what they stand to lose. Yeah, I mean we're we're all Arkansans, and um, you know we feel uh, for these people that are that are going to be just devastated by this and. Uh, it's, it's tough to see and it wears on you. Um, you know, these wildlife officers have been out here and they've seen a lot of, uh, they've seen a lot of uh, devastation before with, with other floods and, and uh, they've, they've been hurricanes, uh, you know, tornadoes, all kinds of things. And it's, uh, it's difficult to see this. Um, you know, you feel for the people that are gonna be impacted by it. Uh, I imagine that you've encountered some of these folks yourself. Have you had occasion to visit with some of the business owners and property owners? Now, actually, it's it's been really quiet out here, and um, you know, people are staying away. Um, it, we really haven't had a lot of interaction. Um, there there are a few people in the houses that are pumping pumping the water out, but you know, the the crest is you know sometime today, so there's there's not much you can do right now. So until that water starts going down. Um, I don't think you're going to see a lot of people out here. There's just there's just nothing to do. Another thing that they talked about was the importance of, of people just staying out of the water. Don't don't wade in the water. There's a number of reasons uh, to, to just stay away. Talk a little bit about that and safety. Yeah, I mean, uh, j just stay. Don't don't go past the barricades um, into these flooded areas. Um, you don't know how deep they are. I mean, you could you could see right here we're going down the middle of the street and. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, plenty deep right here. Be over your head. Um, and we did have one individual that uh, tried to drive into it a couple of days ago, and, and unfortunately drowned. So don't go out. It's 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 not worth it. If you want to see something, stand out um, on the high ground. Stay behind the barricades. There's uh, venomous snakes involved here too. Is that right? You know, that's uh, that's kind of a misconception. Um, you know, I've been out here for uh, three days uh, in various parts of the river. I've seen two snakes, and uh, both of them were just a common water snake. And, 
I don't see them coming up and and um, you know getting into houses and things like that. They're obviously going to be pushed out of out of the areas where they normally are along the banks of the river. But um, I, I just haven't seen that many. It's uh, it's kind of odd. You would think you would, but uh, I, I really haven't. Talk about the you know one thing that's happening is this water is going over ground. It's going over sewer systems and one thing and another, and, and uh, that creates a, a difficulty. Yeah, I, I understand there's another location here in town that I haven't been to, but uh, that uh, there, there could be some sewage problems there. This, this area, um, we're actually getting into an area where it's a small oxbow lake off the river, so we're, we're getting into an area that uh, has water in it, obviously not this much, but uh, um, there, there's not as much, uh, there's not as many homes around here that are, that are, um, may be having some problems with the sewage uh, at this point. Any uh, other cautionary notes that you, you think people ought to, ought to know about and ought to attend to if they're coming down here or if they live here? Yeah, I, I just, just uh, don't get out here. We don't want anybody uh, to come out here in a boat um, and get caught, especially in the current. Um, we don't want to do any rescues. Uh, it'd be nice to just come out here and make sure that, that everybody's property is okay. Um, I know people want to see it and uh, want to, um, you know, uh, see the devastation and everything, but uh, it'd be really good if they would just stay um, at home. And if you're in a boat, you don't know what's under here. Um, you know, there's signs, uh, street signs, there's bridge barricades, uh, bridge abutments, uh, fences. You know, it's, it's kind of odd to be around um, uh, some of these houses and know that there's a chain link fence under you and it can obviously hit a prop or or uh, get the boat tangled up in it and uh, then you got some real problems plus you're damaging people's property. Keith, there's a, a lot of different uh, law enforcement relief agencies and uh, uh, EMTs, all kinds of folks out here. Talk about, uh, talk about them and, and the kind of job they do. Yeah, this, uh, you know, it's kind of a a statewide group effort. Uh, you know, we were asked to come out here by the uh, the local PDs and, and the sheriff's office to help because we we've got officers who are trained in rescue and um, and we also have the equipment uh, to uh, to deal with this kind of situation. So uh, it's it's worked really well. Um, all of the uh, Officers from the other enforcement agencies have been great and uh, have been working alongside our wildlife officers. And uh, you know, we're just able to get out into the water more than them because of the because of the equipment that we have. But everybody seems everybody's working well together. There's a common cause out here. I yeah. Everybody understands the gravity of this situation. Sure, and and you know, we have officers that that live in this area, and and uh, you know, they know people that are affected by it, and. Uh, you know we're all Arkansans, so it it bothers all of us. Uh, you know to see this, and and the good thing is we're just not seeing problems like uh, like you may see in other cities or, or larger states uh, with people looting and, and things of that nature. So um, we hope it stays that way because this is going to be up for a while. This this uh, this flood's not going to be over in a week. It's it's going to stay up. You know probably a good part of the summer. Yeah, uh, the FEMA folks were talking about how they, they, they're they kind of in a little bit of a holding pattern, and everybody is for the water to recede, but then just a whole bunch of work starts then, is that right? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the when the real work starts, um, you know, especially for agencies like us. Um, we're going to have to go in and look at all our facilities. Um, we've got a nature center in Pine Bluff that's uh, probably going to get water inside the facility. Um, so we won't know anything until that water goes down and we can go in there and, and uh, check out the damage and uh, see what's, uh, what's needed to get that thing back on its feet.